So this week's project, turning my Honda Civic into a stealthy car camper. I've been very interested in traveling. I'm currently unemployed. So now seems to be one of the greatest times to do so. I want to be able to camp in here and camp outside of the car. We're gonna start off by unscrewing these seats back here. I had to literally go to Target just to get one of these because this thing is not coming off in the way I want it to at least. Aren't I looking fly, eh? Check this out. This is the bottom cushion of the Civic and these are the top seats that go on the back wall. I took those out and I did some measurements and I bought wood for the first time in my life. And you can probably tell that it's my first time buying wood because of this ghetto seto I got. Check this out. So I have two... What is this? Two foot by four foot, three quarters inch thick wood here. And I've got a two by four, about eight feet of that. These are going to make up the legs that lift this platform up. But right now I got it sitting on my workout bench and this random uh, little cubby thing I've got. Probably need to prop it up more, but yeah. Got a good thing going here. Fudgy Gumpians, I'm pretty bad at updating this thing, but here's where the seats, the bottom cushions were. Here's where the back were. I've got the piece of wood that I screwed together. I screwed this larger piece of wood together. So right now I want something here, uh, like right on top of this to connect here. So there's support in that middle area, but I've got these three legs screwed on. Boom, boom, boom. And since my plans changed a little bit because of this here, I, uh, I've got this space. I might be able to, like, put some books in there or something. I don't know. There's a purpose for every nook and cranny and stuff like this. So, my next move. Get those middle legs put on. That's going to be a weird one. It's going to be a really weird one. Because I don't even know how to measure it. Because I've only got a yardstick. And up here, I think I'm going to have something that goes to the floor down there that can then flip up, hinge out, and then there's some extended space that even includes the console here. Here's me crawling in. Not actually getting on it, but already, with my knees on the more, on the less vulnerable spots, I'm in here. Such great progress for somebody who has just screwed together his first piece of wood today. Literally right, right here. Yeah. Now, I mean, you can kind of tell that I cut it my first time. Oh my God, so many firsts today. Now, yeah, this was a bit more of an expensive project than I probably should have participated in. But I think I can finish it out this way. Hmm. Guess we'll find out, eh? Guess we'll find out. Fudgy Gumpians, here is a view from the trunk. Our first piece is right here. We need a second piece in here. And I thought I might connect it to that end of the last thinner piece. But I think I might just make a separate small little table back here. Uh, I'll have legs that go from this corner all the way to this corner. That gives me this whole entire large space over here. And... With it being at this corner, it'll give me this. And then I can still have stuff underneath. Fudgy Gumpians, I woke up in the middle of the night and realized that there's a structural error going on here with this setup that I've got right now. And the problem is that it's not fastened to anything right now. There is this right here and these right here. But if something were to shift this forward more, it would just fall right off onto the floor. Let's see what I did under here. You see that right there? 
that is supporting the middle section. Yeah, and now I have plenty of space for storage. Alrighty, Fudgy Gumpians, I needed to secure this bigger piece to the actual car, and this piece here was just far enough to where I could screw this thin piece on. It was gonna be waste because it was the end of the piece that's gonna go in the middle here. But now it serves a function and that means it'll be more flush with the table-ish piece that's gonna come in here. And yeah, it's secured, nice. Okay, here's the piece. I don't know how I didn't think this through, but putting only two inch legs on this means there would be two inches of space underneath. Other than that, it's kind of flush there. I could lift this end up and have more space to work with. Okay, I put four inch legs and it's got a lot more room now. It looks more level. Alrighty guys, I got these four hinges here. I put four in a little bit of excess just for extra stability. Something to keep this piece connected since I couldn't fit a hinge right in the middle. Otherwise I would have done three. But look, it folds up like that. Eventually this top piece will serve as a headrest. <laughs> I'm laying down in a bed right now. <laughs> I'm in a bed. This is unreal. Fudgy Gumpians, I did it. Alrighty guys, I used some extra screws I had laying around as drop pins. There we go. I was just about to cut down some excess from this mattress so it would fit better in the car and store away a bit easier. And this sunlight is just being a perfect guide right now. So I'm going to use that while it's here. Got a nice even cut here. <laughs> Not right here, but whatever. Yeah, this is going to fit much better than... Look at that, I took like a foot off. Here we are, everybody. Little bed inside. I would sew this on, but there's no way I'd be able to slide this thing out and still have it in proper shape. <laughs> No way, guys. Check this out. Wow. I'm literally just laying down in my car, chilling. Fudgy Gumpians, we have turned a Honda Civic into a camper. This is some good stuff here. Loving it. Now, what's the next step? Maybe a cool transition. Boom!